um, and maybe changing your UUID in Windows 10 may be a bit of uh, tech gymnastics that's not very well known. Um, and you can change the same level of uh, UUIDs uh, or universally unique identifiers uh, are like fingerprints for your system. Um, used in many applications to track installations or support profiles. Uh, um, most users don't even realize why they'd need to change a UUID um, until they hit a brick wall with software licensing or system duplications. And uh, imagine installing a new piece of software only to find out it wants a different UUID to run on multiple relations of the same system. Um, step one, and this is crucial, is to back up your system. Uh, play it safe and changing a UUID can sometimes lead to unexpected system behavior. I suggest using built-in Windows backup tools or a trusted third-party backup software to avoid headaches. Uh, next, you need to open the command prompt as an administrator. Uh, use Windows search type CMD, right-click the result, and choose run as administrator. Um, this powerful tool is your gateway to altering the system at a core level. Um, uh, once the command prompt is open, type in wmyc product get uid and hit enter. Um, this reveals your current uuid um, and just take a moment to grab a screenshot or jot it down. It's like knowing your car's VIN number um, essential yet easily forgotten. Um, now, to change it, you'll use a software called UUIGEN or SysInternals, new SIT. And um, these programs generate a new UUID. Uh, download the utility and run it carefully. Uh, um, some antivirus may flag these as suspicious, uh, mainly due to their system altering capabilities. Uh, run the tool and follow the prompts to generate a new UUID. And um, the tool does most of the work while you sip your coffee. And it's that change that makes software creatures like VMware operate without duplicating issues. And um, once applied, restart your system. Um, this is critical because restarting your system applies the new UUID throughout the OS, like flipping a switch to a fresh identity for your system without changing its core personality. Uh, pro tip, verify if the UID is changed correctly by writing the WMIC's product get UID command again. Um, if it matches your expected new UUID, you're golden. And it's like checking your new haircut in the mirror for the first time and um, frequent pain points include uh, system boot warnings or software detection issues. Um, if problems arise, uh, having a backup ensures you can uh, restore tool settings or try a different method should things go awry. Um, uh, remember, changing the UUID may disrupt hardware-based licensing or recognition in apps that track installs by system IDs. Uh, for example, some game licenses might require revalidation, uh, which can be frustrating if, if you're not expecting it. Uh, lastly, know that UUID changing is commonly used within virtual machines or development environments rather than everyday systems. Um, getting these little details right means fewer sleepless nights worrying about software compatibility or licensing headaches.